What's up guys, it's Alec Mac 111 and today we're going to really test the capabilities of my Canon T6i. I am doing a review of my Olight M22 Warrior and you can tell I'm outside. I want to be able to really see this light and be able to see the beam and kind of show you guys exactly how far it goes. So before we go into this, I'm using an Olight pressure switch as well and an Olight WM25 uh, mount. It's basically like a Canton mount um, so you can see that I'm running it on top of the rail. I usually run my lights on about the right side of the rail system. That's just kind of they're out of my way and I can use it and I'll usually mount the pressure switch either on top with uh, like a different like a rubber mount uh, the manta rail covers or I'll run it through the left side depending on like what grip I'm using um, but right now I just have it mounted on my left side so I can just flex my palm and you can see there so first mode with the first strobe which is pretty cool so first one is low second one is high so you squeeze it twice so low high oh, high and then the third one, I'm gonna take this out just so you can see a little bit, is a, actually a strobe. So one, two, three is a strobe setting. I think that's really cool, kind of like a smart switch system. My Claris, when I use the old uh, tack light that I use, it just had one setting, which was strobe, which was nice. But I think this is cool, kind of like if, hey, I'm gonna read a map. You really don't wanna use this for reading a map. Uh, but if you wanna see, like, kind of not be as noticeable and kind of wanna walk through uh, just some area um, and be like, okay, I wanna be a little bit less flashy then like this this bright setting is very very bright okay we're gonna go shed and show you right now outside just kind of what it looks like so there is the back of my woods and I'll show you low setting we'll go ahead and sweep a little bit so low setting pretty low pretty pretty good you can see my building and then the targets that I have out there and then on high setting you can really see the capabilities of this light that is a bright freaking light um, it's not super well focused but it's pretty cool like you can see how much brighter that's like a it's like a nice light I can see hey I can see some people through there but then this you just kind of can light up everyone and then strobe is basically for indoors like like if you just want to kind of paint the targets but yeah it's pretty cool I'll show you once again just a little bit to kind of see for yourself but yeah I think that's really cool I think I just I really like flashlights and the fact that like you can just kind of shine them and, and just be able to see like night I've always been, I've always played I've actually played Milsim Airsoft for about six seven years now so I've played for a long time and, and it's been really cool to be able to see like I started out playing airsoft actually in night games I used to play Operation Night Archers or what they were called in Ohio and it was run by a guy who's kind of shady um, but it was a lot it was really cool it's like the event was so cool and we just always had like little crappy flashlights and now the fact that I have like an actual light um, a few actual lights that can just really work is awesome. This price pack, I think this is like $70 for the light and then the mount and pressure switch are, are each about uh, $15 a piece. So like that's really affordable. When I bought my Claris, I think it was like 120 for the whole package. Um, but this is a very, very nice light. It's very compact. I like how small it is. It's made out of some really nice quality stuff. And this is a really, really great light. Thanks for watching this video, guys. This has been Alec Mac 111 And I will see you guys later as you get to blinded.